Hello children, welcome to the Smart World School of Complete Learning. Today we are going to read about the soils. Okay, so uh, before starting the chapter, let's recall our previous learning, uh, which we will done. We will be doing by few questions. The questions are like, what are the different constituents of soil? from where do the abiotic factors become available for the soil formation and on which factors does the variety of in the soil depend while answering the above questions you must have gathered some information about soil and realize some of its characteristics let us consider the soil in the more detail the parent rock the climate of this region the biotic material the slope of the land and time are the factors that influence soil formation Factors which are necessary for soil information are like first is parent rock. Remember that the parent rock in a region is an important factor in the soil formation. Depending on the hardness of the rock, the climate of the region, the rocky gets weathered. The rock turns into powdery material which further turns into earthy material. For example, the basalt rock of the Deccan Plateau in Maharashtra turns into black soil after weathering. This soil is also referred to as regar soil. Soils like granite or gneiss in the South India give rise to red soil. Second factor is regional climate. This is also an important factor influencing soil formation. Weathering of the rock is the first step in the soil in the process of soil formation. The process of weathering depends on the climate of the region. The climate decides the intensity of the weathering. That is why one and the same type of rock gives rise to different types of soils. when the rock is exposed to different climates in the dry climate of deccan plateau weathering of basalt leads to the formation of black soil whereas in the humid climate of western sayadris the leaching of the same basalt rock leads to the formation of lateritic soil another factor is biotic material the weathering of rock turns them into powdery material but this powdery material is not soil to turn such powdery material into soil it is necessary that biotic material get mixed into it the biotic material comes from the decomposition of the remains of the plants and animals in that region the vegetal litters roots of plants remains of animals etc that de- get decomposed due to water microorganisms and other certain organisms help decompose to the dead remains of the organic material the biotic material in this produce to gets mixed into the soil and is called humus the definition of humus is important for you um, if the proportion of humus in the soil is greater the soils become fertile the process of decomposition by living organisms take place continuously nowadays production of vermicompost is under un, is undertaken on a large scale try to understand the process of producing vermicompost or compost production of compost needs sufficient period of time and elements like organic waste water heat etc time is the another factor soil formation is a natural and slow process it needs a very long period of time to form to form a 2.5 cm thick layer of top soil it takes thousands of years and from this you may understand that soils are invaluable In the region of high rainfall and high temperatures the process of soil formation is faster comparatively in the regions of low temperatures and low rainfall soil formation takes more time humans use the soil gifted by the nature as a resource it is mainly it is mainly used for agricultural purpose for getting higher production different types of chemical fertilizers insecticides are used profusely however this leads to the degradation of soils always remember it does not mean soil soil contains the powdered form of the weathered rock partially or completely decomposed organic material and innumerable microorganisms interactions between biotic and abiotic components in the soil go on continuously plants get nutrient required for their growth from the soils soil is a complete ecosystem earth is also a substance the potter uses as a raw material and a farmer uses as an as an ecosystem uh, there is an activity uh, which is the soil experiment take three flower pots of the same size keep one pot empty fill the second pot with the water and after closing the 
hole at the bottom okay and the third pot with the soil put a few seeds in all of them you may use any seed be it wheat green gram coriander anything keep all the three pots in the sun and water the empty pot and soil filled pot for four or five days observe and answer the following questions do this activity and answer the questions then what happened to the seeds put in the empty pot and pot filled with the water what happened to the seeds put in the pot filled with soil and what do you learn from this geographical explanation is like an important component of the living world on the earth is plants for the production and growth of plants soil is indispensable they provide support to the plants vegetation is abundant in the regions that have fertile soils example the equatorial regions however in the areas where the soils are not fertile vegetation is scanty example in deserts and where there is shortage of soil vegetation is not seen example in the polar areas though favorable climate availability of abundant water and sunlight are necessary for the growth of plant these alone are not sufficient fertile soil favors plant growth think about that why do equatorial regions have fertile soils and why is the vegetation sparse in deserts when men realized that sowing of seeds in the soil leads to the growth of plants and yield crops he started using soil as a resource gradually he realized that the fertile soils along the river beds give higher yields hence he settled in the valleys and started living there in groups this led to the rise of ancient river valley civilization example the indus civilization with the growing population men started producing greater amount of food crops he realized that crop production and prosperity in agriculture mainly depends on the fertility of soil and the optimum availability of water hence there emerged competition among the people to discover fertile lands and settle there on later for getting richer harvest he made efforts to increase the fertility of soils in the process use of different fertilizers became a practice which led to record agricultural production food crops fruits and flowers are the produced are produced according to the type of soils food crops like jowar and bajra are produced in the regular soils of maharashtra plateau while soils in konkan kerala tamil nadu and karnataka region produce rice in madhya pradesh potato is cultivated in regions where the soils are well drained the local agricultural produce determines produce determines the stable diet of the people the regions where soils are not arable need to fulfill their food requirements through import for example countries like saudi arabia qatar oman etc fulfill their requirements by importing food from china india and the usa regions where soil are fertile can be self reliant as far as the food production is concerned hence human settlements get concentrated in such areas agro based industries flourish in these areas at a late the date for example sugar factories develop in the sugar cane producing areas fruit processing industries develop in the areas of food production etc these regions later show the signs of development uh, this is the map of maharashtra which is showing you the types and overall distribution of the soil so you can have a look at the map and after looking at the map uh, answer the following questions which are first which soil occupies most of the area in the maharashtra in which areas are laterite soil found which soil is found in the river valleys of maharashtra which soil is found in parts of the sayadri ranges and in which region is alluvial soil found geographical explanation is like you have studied the major soil types of maharashtra on the basis of the soil colors texture formation process thickness of layers etc we can divide the state soil into five major categories first is coarse soil this soil type is a result of weathering and low rainfall this soil can be found in the hill tops of the western part of the plateau example ajanta balaghat and mahedu mahadev hills the proportion of humus is negligible in this soil another is regar and black soil it is found in the areas of medium rainfall in the valleys and alluvial plains of river basins two types of the soil are found 
Dark black soil is found in the western part of Deccan Plateau, while medium black soil is found in the eastern part of Vidarbha. Though it is black in color, proportion of organic components is less in this soil. Third is laterite soil, and this type of soil is found in the coastal belt of Konkan to the west of the Sahidris and in the east of Vidarbha. In the areas of very heavy rainfall, the, er the eroded rocks get washed away in a large quantity. As a result, the parent rock lies bare open. The iron in the rock reacts with the oxygen in the air and causes chemical reactions. The, this gives the reddish orange color to the soil which is thus formed. Fourth is one is alluvial soil of the coastal strip. Majority of the rivers flowing in the Konkan region are the short and flow with great speed. Therefore, the alluvium brought by them gets deposited at the mouth of the rivers. This soil is found at the mouth of the rivers in the west, uh, in the mouth of the rivers in the western coastal strip. Example: the areas around the Panvel Uran coast, Dharmatar Creek, etc. Fifth and the last is yellow brown soil. These soils are found in the areas of extreme rainfall. They are not very fertile. They are not very fertile, and therefore they are not very useful for agriculture. They are mainly found in Chandrapur, eastern part of Bandra. And parts of Sahayadri Mountains. Uh, there is one more activity in which you have to make two heaps of soil. On one of them, sow any other fast growing seed. Keep watering that heap for four to nine days, and after the sapling surface, water both the heaps with a watering can. Okay, so you can see this thing like there are two soil heaps, and on the one. This uh, lady is putting seeds. They watered both, and see, small plant saplings are there. Okay, so soil erosion and degradation. What is soil erosion and degradation? A layer of soil, the top layer of the soil, gets removed due to wind or water. This means that the soil gets eroded. Running water and climate and diversity in physiography are reasons of soil erosion. The soil quality may get lower due to certain regions. This is higher. This is called degradation of soil. To obtain a higher agricultural yield, chemical fertilizers, chemical fertilizers, insecticides, pesticides, etc., are used. The excessive spraying of chemicals and use of chemical fertilizers used uh, leads to soil degradation. Excessive irrigation draws the soils from the soil upwards. And makes the soil saline and then unproductive due to excessive use of chemicals. Their residues remain in the soils for many years. They become a threat to the existence of microorganisms in the soil. It leads to lowering of the humus content in the soil, and the plants do not get micro nutrients. If the pH of the soil thus gets distributed, it is a sign of soil degradation. You can see the figure 7.3a, which is showing you the soil degradation. This is how land becomes when the soil gets degraded. Do you know that certain soils are best suited for certain crops? Hence, the crop production, hence the crop production of that crop becomes the speciality, the speciality of that area. Such crops are given the status of geographic indication. For example, Hapis mango of Sindhu Garg. Sindhu Durg, custard apple from B district, and the oranges of Nagpur, etc. Seven point three B figure is showing the soil soil erosion. The next is again showing showing the soil erosion. You can see soil erosion in two figures and the soil degradation in the first. Soil conservation conservation. Considering the importance of soil, it is necessary to conserve it. It is necessary to protect the fertile soils of farmlands from getting washed out due to rains. Soil conservation includes the works like construction of embankments and planting trees on them, construction of gully plugs against the steep slopes, etc. Such works are taken up by the Department of Soil Conservation. Planting trees can also control the velocity of the wind. This helps reducing the erosion of soil by wind. The plant roots hold the soil, and this also reduces the erosion of soil. Under soil conservation, the continuous contour trenches are, constru are constructed along the slopes. 
construction of such trenches trenches at different heights checks the velocity of water running along the slopes and hence reduces soil erosion the water arrested in these trenches percolates into the ground as you into the ground the government of maharashtra has implemented the watershed catchment area development program under which constructing embankments along slopes in rural areas introducing cctts along steep slopes etc are undertaken this led to the success of scheme arrest water let it percolate this has resulted in raising the ground water levels and reducing the erosion of soil recently the government has launched the scheme called jalayukt shivar under this scheme works like construction of farm birds burns arresting waters of small streams connecting the streams etc are being carried out on a large scale it is advisable it is advisable to reduce the excessive use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides if organic manures vermicompost compost are used regularly it helps maintaining the ph think about uh, rohit and pratiksha noted that their field has yielded a bumper crop but they also noted that the part of their field had a stunted growth of plants what investigation will you suggest to them in figure 7.4 soil conservation is shown, shown to you first is of afforestation second is cct and third is about contour building bending okay it helps in the it helps in maintaining the ph balance increases the proportion of humus and retain the fertility of soil keeping the farmland fallow for some period and cultivating different crops alternatively is important to help retain the fertility of soil now here comes your exercise the first question is about completing the table you are given with with uh, factors and or the processes and you have to write out the roles of that factor and process in the formation of soil in the corresponding blank first is parent rock another is regional climate third is organic material and microorganisms so you have to write the role of these process of the factors in the formation of soil next is you have to give the reasons for the following occurrence first is to the west of sahedris laterite soils are formed from basalt rock second is about humus content in the soil increases third is soil formation process is faster in the equatorial climate fourth is the salinity of the soil increases fifth is rice is the staple diet of the people from konkan sixth is soil erosion and the seventh is soil degradation you have to write the reason for the occurrence of these third is you have to give information about measures of soil measuration soil conservation organic manures the places where you will get information about the suitability of a soil for a particular crop and the importance of soil for plant growth the fourth is about completing a table uh, you are given with action or effect or result and complete the rest like i give you example first is about the uh, action which is construction of embankments now you have to write the effect and result for it another here is wind speed decreased you have to write the cause for this which will be your action and the result and so on you can complete this table here are few activities for you first is visit a soil testing center or laboratory and note the work that is carried out in the center second is to prepare compost at home or in your housing society and the last is to visit a place where arrest water let it percolate percolate is being implemented collect the information about it and make a note of it and with this activity explanation we come to the end of the chapter of soils now just read the chapter go through it and complete the exercise thank you